Hey guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to a super specific and maybe not needed video, but I figured I would make one um, because I recently put these pictures, which I will have on the screen right now, on Reddit and um, they kind of popped the fuck off, not gonna lie. Um, a lot of people were asking about my CC and asking about how I take pictures like this and I really wanted to just make a video um, explaining how I take these kind of um, photo shoots for my sims. If you guys didn't know, I have a simbler where I put stories up for this family. Um, I'm really emotionally attached to this family and I, and I love taking photos of them and putting them in different poses and creating stories through their life. So I figured I would take you guys through how I make photos like this happen and what you guys need to make it happen in your game as well. So the very first thing you need, other than The Sims 4, is G-Shade. G-Shade is basically a program that allows you guys to change the saturation, the contrast, all of those kind of photo editing e settings in your game so that it can look different, it can have different lighting, it can have a different mood, a different vibe than the original game. Um, if you guys are familiar with modding in The Sims, you might have heard of Reshade. G-Shade is essentially reshade plus tax. It runs way better on your computer. It takes a lot less CPU to power this thing and it is a lot easier to use in my opinion. So the first thing you'll need is G-Shade. You go to gposers.com slash G-Shade. I will have, you know, the links to everything in the description. So don't even worry about that. But you go to G-Shade, click on Windows, Linux, or Mac, whatever you have. I have Windows. And then it will download G-Shade for you down here. Once that is downloaded, you click install. If you have a newer um, version of Windows, I don't know if Windows 11 always does this, but I recently updated my PC and it does this. It says Windows protected your PC. G-Shade is a trusted program. There is no viruses in G-Shade. So if this happens, just click uh, more info and click run anyway. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to go any further than this, but you would click run anyway. It'll install all of the contents of G-Shade and then you will come to this once you open it. It says home, installations, tools, support. Go to installations and then you can click um, add new. So what you will do once you click add new is you will click browse and you will go to your exe file of The Sims 4, not The Sims 4 location in your documents. That's very important. So it is going to be local disk, program files 86, origin games, Sims 4, game, bin. That's where you're going to put it. You can see The Sims 4 x64 is in here. And you can see I already have my G-Shade and my uh, my G-Shade presets and my G-Shade shader. So that is where you will put it. It's very important that you put it in with the actual game EXE file and not with your mods. So once you have that installed, you can start looking at G-Shade presets. Um, G-Shade actually has a tool where you can convert reshade presets to g-shade presets but a lot of simmers are using g-shade now so if you do a little search you can find g-shade presets so easy without having to do any converting uh, on your part the one that i use is specifically a g-shade preset so you do not have to convert anything but it literally as it is as easy as downloading the preset launching the converter finding the location of the preset and clicking OK. And G Shade does everything for you. So the G Shade preset that I use is called Angelic and it's by Elena. Elena is a simmer on YouTube. Um, she creates amazing content and her G Shade presets are beautiful. She has a couple other ones, I believe. I believe Angelic might be her second one. Um, and then after this one, she made one called Strudel. Uh, I think her first one was called Brown Sugar. Um, they're beautiful. I use Angelic. I also have Strudel installed in my game, but I haven't tried it yet. And you'll see here that all preset, all G-Shade presets, you know, might require different things to run. This one specifically, you need a couple mods. You need the Milk Thistle version 2 mod, which is a lighting mod. You need a no blue which is another lighting mod it affects um 
nighttime in the game. You need this create a sim lighting and you need the tech hippie terrain override. Um, I'm not going to explain any of that stuff in my video because Elena has an amazing, super informative video on how to do it. It's, you know, you can get what you need from that one. So I'm just going to link that video in my description. It's really easy to download these mods. Um, I would say the hardest one to download is probably the tech hippie terrain override because you have to replace some files in your game, but it's, it's super easy. You can find all that information in her video. So you download this preset. Uh, and what it'll do is it'll go to your downloads folder and all you do is you drag that file. So you open your downloads folder and you will see it right here. And then what you do is you will go into your game bin where we installed G shade. So remember it's local disc program files, origin games, Sims four game bin. So you go there and then you'll see G-Shade presets and G-Shade shaders. So what you do is you go into G-Shade presets, then custom, and you'll see that I already have it here. But what you'll do is you will literally just grab it from your downloads folder and drag it into here. And then G-Shade does the rest of the work for you. Okay, the next thing you will need in order to take photo shoots like I did in these pictures is Andrew's Pose Player. Um, if you guys have played Sims 3, you might be familiar with the little, um, like, clap box thing. I don't know what they're called. The, like, when they say action and then they clap it shut. That's also a pose player in The Sims 3. This one is a mod in which you just have to click on your own sim to pose. I love it. It's chef's kiss. Um, this mod is, as far as I know, the only one that exists. I don't, there's probably other ones, but this is the most popular one. It's called Andrew's Pose Player, I believe. I believe that's what it's called. It says Pose Player right here, and it's on Andrew's Sim 4, Sims 4 Studio. In order to install this, you just install it like any other mod. You download it, you unzip it um, using either WinRAR or WinZip, or I think Windows might have its own um, unzipping program now. I'm not completely sure. You unzip it into your mods folder. Bing, bang, boom, it's done. Um, this is just basically the framework to do poses in order to actually get the poses you have to download those separately um and i'm going to show you a creator that makes amazing poses and just happened to make the lot that this photo shoot is taken on the next mod you'll need in order to make the pose player work is the teleport any sim um this is also by andrew you can actually find it if you just scroll down on the pose player pack i believe yeah this is the pose player pack and then if you scroll down just a little bit do 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 it's right here basically this little night guy is in your buy mode and you just buy him you plop him anywhere you want to pose and then you can click on it teleport a sim here and then click on your sim you can do it with dogs you can do it with babies you can do it with uh strangers that you haven't met as long as they're on the lot um i do believe so you need this along with the pose player pack all right Okay, this is Starry Simsy. This creator I recently found, and I am obsessed with their content. Um, they make a lot of stuff. This, as you can see, this is a tattoo set. Um, and then if you scroll down, this is a pumpkin patch that's coming out in like three days. This is not the one that's in the photo shoot that I did. This is next year's, this year's. I used the 2021s. It's like honestly buckwild these are deco sims these are not real sims i know i know um anyway so this is starry simsy like i said i'm obsessed um they actually have their own reshade preset but i don't use their preset you go onto their tumblr which like i said will be linked and then you can click all downloads and then it will take you to their pinterest where you can see literally everything now Anything you click on is going to take you to their Patreon. Um, I have so many things from them. Um, like I have this pose. It's an on the phone pose. Like it's it's honestly beautiful. It's perfect. It's it's amazing. You can get any of these poses. Um, some of these aren't poses. Like this is a kitchen crew. This is a base sim. But this is a pose. This is a pose. Th like there's so many. I have this one which is new moms. The new mom's pose pack this is a pose pack um 
you guys can go on this Patreon, this Pinterest, and absolutely go wild. That's what I did. Um, they also have a lot of really beautiful lots. Like this one right here is a beautiful picnic lot. Go buck wild. Okay, so as you can see, we are in the family um, that I used for that pose. And um, someone is pregnant again. So I figured I would take this time to do some pregnancy poses to show you. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you G-Shade. So when you first load the game up after installing G-Shade, it will pop up around here in the top left-hand corner and it will give you a little tutorial. But because I, this is not my first time installing it, I know what to do. So what you do to open the user interface for G-Shade is you go Shift and F2 and it opens up this huge interface on the side. Um, it's a little complicated, but when you first install G-Shade, it will run you through everything so really quickly i just want to show you guys what this game looks like without g-shade because i'm so used to it with g-shade that this is going to be alarming okay are you ready oh my god it's okay it's the way that it's green um and i i honestly truly can't imagine playing like this in the year of our lord 2022 once again shift and f2 opens and closes it up here in this little drop down menu, you just click, you click the drop down menu and you click angelic. Like I said, I also have strudel, which uh, I have never loaded up yet. So it did take a little while to load up. Strudel is a little bit more pink. It's a little bit more warm, I find, than angelic. Um, oh, maybe I'm wrong, actually. They're very similar, but they're different and beautiful in their own way. So once again, shift and F2 will close that user interface. So I'm not going to go to any fancy lot this time around. I'm just going to go upstairs to my bedroom so first things first i'm gonna go Control shift c and i'm gonna type headline effects off and then that will get rid of any sims uh plum bob or thought bubbles or anything like that and then we go up here go into buy mode and then in the little search bar you click teleport destination and we're going to put two in the same spot right here and then we're going to click on here we're going to teleport a sim here scroll down to our sim and then we're going to go more choices until we find pose by pack and then this is where all of your uh, pose packs will be that you download. Remember, you need pose packs as well as the pose player in order to do poses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go scroll all the way down to one by Starry Sims called New Moms. And we're going to find a cute little pose here for our ladies. Let's do this one. So female one, I believe, is the pregnant sim. And then we click on the other teleporter device here. We're going to bring Miko over. Click on her. Pose by pack. Go all the way down to Starry Sims, New Mom. Uh, pose six, the second female, and then we press play, and they should get into their poses here. <gasps> oh, she has, okay, she has a plate, um, and that's, you know, I don't know why she has the plate. Also, Miko has a bite mark on her hand, and I don't know what that's about either, but let's see if we can reset. <laughs> we'll reset uh, Carmen really quick. We have reset Carmen. We should be able to put her back in her pose without her being too far away. Why does she have the plate, do we think? Okay, you know what? We're ignoring the plate. Anyway, <laughs> what you do is you put your walls up, no matter where you are in, in your location. Always do walls up. And then we click tab. And when you click tab, you get the free camera. So you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can look at this fucking plate that she has in her hand or her bite mark. Listen, I don't know what's going on. They have a toddler, so I'm blaming it on the toddler. Um, okay, so I'm going to find a good angle that the plate and the bite mark is not in. And then this is specific to the angelic g-shade preset but i think a lot of presets are made with it um there's two different settings that you can do with this preset so you can sh hit shift and two and that will add a level of shadows um, and then if you hit shift and f4 this adds depth of field so wherever your mouse is over everything else will be blurred so if i click if i hover my mouse over 
this lamp, everything else is blurred. If I hover my mouse over the ladies, everything else but them is blurred. And then you click Shift F1 and it takes a photo. Um, to get out of this, I just hit Shift 4 to undo the depth of field and then tab and then it takes me out. Um, one thing of note that I didn't mention that is uh, kind of important is when you go into your G Shade user interface and you hit settings, it will show you, where is it? Right here, uh, where your screenshots save um, and what you use to take the screenshot. You can set this to whatever you want. I have mine into a folder in my pictures folder called saved pictures and I set it to shift in one because I'm already up there doing the depth of field. So it just feels right. It's easy. So that's what I did. Uh, after you take those photos, you can edit them in Canva or any other editing software you like. I personally don't unless I'm combining two photos or I have like an element that I need to put onto the photos. Um, otherwise, they're good to go just like that. So as you can see, this is the photo we just took. I think it's very cute. Of course, the lighting's a little bit different because in the pictures that I took that I put on Reddit, it was sunset and I was on a public lot that was outside. So we had outside lighting. Um, but yeah, it's super easy. And I find them to be beautiful photos uh, that I can use for a lot of storytelling purposes. Um, basically, as long as you have a pose for a situation, you can make it look like they're having that situation. Uh, they have a little baby. And I recently made a little fake scenario that they had a conversation on the couch to have baby number two. And well, now they're having baby number two. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm not really great at making these like informational videos, but I'll get better. If you guys have any other questions about anything, please let me know. Again, everything you need will be linked in the description. And if you need any other additional information, please feel free to watch that video by Elena. Um, I mean, watch it anyway, because you need the mods that she suggests, but she really is, she does well at going into detail about things. Um, but thank you guys so much uh, for watching. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.